Hey guys, what's up? My name is Noah, and today we're going to be going over uh, malaria, and basically the reproduction and how it behaves within its host and within its vectors, and um, basically just the processes that occur with this disease. Now, um, I'm making this video kind of late. I apologize for that, but uh, if you're anything, if you're anything like me, um, you kind of saved the studying for Sunday and uh, went and partied at the dance. On uh, Saturday, but anyway, let's hop right into it because we have plenty to cover. Now, uh, don't get freaked out. Don't get freaked out by this diagram here. It's a lot easier than you think it is. I'm going to take you through it, and hopefully, you will understand it by the time we're done. Now, malaria all starts, and again, at the beginning of this video, I'm telling you right now, uh, don't hold me by any of my pronunciation or spelling. I'm terrible with spelling to begin with and when you add biology and all of these new weird spelled words it's bad. But I'll try my best uh, for pronunciation and for spelling and uh, we'll hop right into it. So malaria all starts with uh, sporozoids. Alright, now um, this is a big word. It's easy to get your mind wrapped around it. Um, so it's spelled like this. Sporozoids. Now what a sporozoid is is it's basically the malaria which exists in a stage in a uh, salivary gland. Um, that was weird. There's a beep. I'm gonna guess that it's all right. All right. So sporozoites are the malaria that exist in the saliva uh, salivary gland in the vector, right? So the vector it has a mouth, it has saliva like us, um, and the malaria exists in its saliva. So when the mosquito takes a blood meal, it injects the sporozoites into the human. Now, Mrs. Ligon had talked about um, how sporozoites, um, they moved with gliding. So the sporozoites go ahead and um, they glide down into the liver. So these sporozoites, again, infect the human, which is its host. And um, then these um, sporozoites go in to the liver and um, they infect cells. Now at this point um, they mature into schizonts. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. But uh, these sporozoites in the liver um, they mature um, into a schizoint. That's a very odd word. Okay, so again, the sporozoites go into the human, they go into the liver cell, they infect it, and they mature into this schizoint. Now, within this schizoint, um, it's capable of producing merozoites. Um, basically, I'm going to try and tell you guys what a merozoite is. I believe I already went over it. Merozoites. A merozoit is um, it's this new form. Um, after it's matured uh, into this schizoint, it produces these merozoites, and um, now it's in this brand new cycle. So, from this schizoint, it produces um, merozoites. All right, that's pretty easy to get. Now, um, they this schizoint ruptures and it releases them um, into the bloodstream. And what happens is uh, these merozoites can do one of two things: they can go in and they can um, they can infect erythrocytes, which um, it's really easy to get your mind around this. It's a it's a red blood cell. It's a special word for a red blood cell or they can go dormant. So we'll talk about how they go dormant first. So when these merozoites, which are basically this new form of malaria, once they've um, infected the red blood cell and they've matured and it's been released, um, you get these merozoites. Now from here, what these do are um, they go dormant, right? So they're gonna go into the bloodstream and they're going to go dormant as hypanozoites. 
So these are dormant uh, merozoinites, and um, these parasites um, undergo sexual reproduction. So what happens is um, they go into the eranthrocytes, which are red blood cells. So I'm just going to start off with that. They go into the red blood cells, and um, they basically reproduce. Now what happens is um, the merozoonites, this is where the disconnect is. This, um, as far as I can tell, is a gametocyte. Gamete, gametocyte. Gametocyte. There we go. I'm sorry. I know I'm bad at pronouncing. Um, so um, this is the blood stage right here. This is the blood stage. Alright, so I'm going to go back up and review what we just went over. So it ruptures, it goes into the human blood stage. Um, this is just the reproduction that we were talking about. And it goes in and it forms these gameotocytes. Alright, so from this point, um, what happens is you start to get um, you start to get symptoms at this point. All right. So once they become gametocytes, gamma, gametocyte. I can't say this word. Um, this is when the symptoms occur. All right. All right. Now, um, what is a gametocyte? This is um, this is an important thing to understand. Um, this is what's capable of producing the um, the gamete, the egg and the sperm within the mosquito. Um, so what ends up happening is, um, let me take a look here. I want to make sure I get the name right. They start um, producing microgametocytes and macrogametocytes. Um, so what happens is, I'll go ahead and write that down. So from here, um, it's these are simply capable, right? So this is the blood stage of the malaria that's capable of producing gametes, right? And it can produce two different types, right? Micro and uh, macro gam gametocytes. I'm not going to write the end part. Now, um, the macros are the female, and uh, the micros are the male. So, what ends, what ends up happening is... Um, these are produced and they float around in the bloodstream and eventually the vector comes in and it sucks the blood and it picks up um, the microgametocytes and the macrogametocytes. And um, what happens is a uh, something called the sporogenic cycle. So what happens is these two things get taken up into the mosquito, right? So we have um, these two different types and they get taken up into the mosquito during a blood meal. Now what happens is the microgametocyte gametocyte goes into the microgametocyte and um, it forms a zygote. All right. So what happens is the micro goes into the macro and this whole thing forms a zygote. This zygote matures into the uh, oocyst, right? this thing, all right, it's, we're just going to skip that stage, it matures into the oocyst. Now, um, what happens is this oocyst um, goes through a certain stage, a certain period of time, and this ruptures and produces the, spir um, the sporozoids. So, if you want to go full cycle, you start, I'll switch colors here, because I've been using the same one the entire time. So, what happens is, you have this, re this release of sporozoids, um, it goes into the sal salivary glands, goes into the host, through the liver cell, infects the liver cell, creates this thing right here, this ruptures, it can go through and reproduce, or it can come out, produce these gametocytes, which can produce micro or macros, then it goes back into its vector, a different one at this point we're assuming, the micro goes into the macro, um, this produces a zygote, it goes back up, um, and it produces an Oocyst. This oocyst ruptures, produces sporozoites. Now, when this vector goes and infects another human, you've gone full cycle. So, I hope this helped, guys. Um, it was a bit confusing to make. Um, it's a very difficult process. I hope I cleared it up for you guys. Sometimes, if I didn't, 
feel free to send me a question. I know I probably missed something. I know I probably didn't explain something as well as I should have. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to let me know. Please let me know how to improve my videos, um, what I can do to make them more interesting, more appealing to you guys. I would love to uh, hear your feedback on that one. I hope this helps, guys. And again, I'm sorry if I wasn't as specific as I should have been, but um, this was a bit difficult to get through. So I hope this helped you guys, and uh, let me know. Thanks.